on today's episode of Dying Retail, today we're going to be looking at one of my favorite stores of all time, Toys R Us. So this store just recently announced that it would be closing its doors permanently. So here we are. I like this way. Now we're kind of getting away from the employees a little bit. I just don't understand why this store would be closing. I mean, it's very clean. It's a very nice store. Very clean, like I said. And look, it's it, they got customers. This store is also busy. It's probably most of the announcement here. There's those Nerf guns. Oh, cool. This is that Monopoly gamer. Mario. I mean, just look at this. This is all nice. Look at that. The newest toys. How amazing. Just look at this place. Just gonna film it at the kid level, kind of. Just so I get the experience of what it's like to be in here. Because this is really a store for the kids, man. Must be broken. A Lego Duplo. Pretty <laughs> neat, creative. Nice yeah, place. Hopefully, once this store closes, we'll find a tenant pretty soon to move in here. Cause, I mean, dang. Like, could a Walmart do well in here? That's what I'm kind of hoping with. In here, or maybe a Best Buy, but I don't know if this if this ceiling is the right type for that. But I know it's like the right type for a Walmart. So here we are down at kid level. So here I am down at probably I don't know approximately four feet. I mean I'm five foot three, so yeah, probably four. I can't exactly measure that. So. Flip clip. Nice. Excuse me. A lot of Toys R Us exclusives. Smurf modulus regulator. Try strike up there. Cool. Very cool. Very sweet. Nerf guns. Here we go. There's a cross cut. Oh, that's so cool. Ah! Yeah, that is foam. Okay, this here is the hammer shot. We really love this thing. Yeah, cool. Clear shot. This is essentially like the dark tag store. Okay. Yep. It's really hard to do with one hand, so sorry. I had the glow shot for only $9.99. They have a Sonic Fire barrel break. This one's... Let me... Okay. I'll have to fix that. This one looks to be open, and I'll... See if that's even fixable. Uh, no, 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 it looks open. Oh well. Probably not. I don't know what to say. Here it is, $24.99. Jolt Team Pack, Sonic Fire versus Sonic Ice. They got six red darts and six blue darts. Honestly, I think $24.99 is a little expensive. If I'm not saying that like I'm the, the cheapest person in the world, I'm just saying like for these t for these pistols, I just think $24.99 is a little bit expensive just for pistols. Look, I get it, it's a Toys R Us exclusive, but that's just my own personal opinion. The Negotiator, this is like a souped up persuader. 
$24.99 for the Vagabond. $19.99 for the Negotiator. This one, well, it's open. So, that's that, I guess. There's a bandolier kit. Hmm, this place is nice. To be honest, this is... No, this is... This was one of my favorite stores when I was little. And it still is my favorite store. It's one of my favorite stores. This is my absolute favorite store to go to for Nerf guns. And all the good stuff like that. It's part of... Oh, I thought that was Boomco. Yeah, I don't collect Boomco. I'm not a Boomco guy. I don't even really collect that much Busby. Although I do have some Busby. Wrench Axe. You're like, I want a Nerf gun. And you're like, I want a new toy. That's what every kid is like. Like, I want a new toy. Ah! Oh no, I just, we just knocked over the nerve. Help! Help! Phone machete. Oh, honestly, why? Yeah, pretty cool. These are just for melee weapons, I guess. Come on, get back on there. There's a vagabond right there. That thing's ridiculously huge. It's a Boomco dart. It's just weird, in my opinion. There's a Boomco gun. Yeah, I don't collect Boomco. And I probably almost never will. I have a couple Sonic Ice Magnuses left. I have a Sonic Ice... Retaliator. I have jolts. They used to have bow strikes, but where did those go? They have the end strike. Glow shot. That's really end strike elite. It's just. It just doesn't really have the power of an end strike elite, I guess. Oh well. Retaliator is normal. I already have a retaliator in that color scheme. I don't want blue retaliator or the sonic ice retaliator, preferably. Now, I'm only gonna check, see if they have one thing before we take off and go to the electronics section. 30 of those really darts. Um, this barrel break is broken. Hmm. Oh, sorry. Do they have a silent strike, which is that blow dart blaster? I will. Do they have a silent strike? Oh, that's the name of that one. Bummer. Looks like they don't. They have the Mega Mastodon. This thing is huge. It's $79.99. I guess that's a good price for this gun, but... Not gonna pick it up. I have a Recon Mark II with wrapping paper on it. Yep, that's the Recon Mark II. Alright, we're gonna have to go soon because my phone is running low, but before we do leave, I wanna show you one more part of the store the electronics section. It's before we take off. Oh, and then there is a Claire's inside. This Toys R Us, but I don't really have an interest in Claire store, mostly because I'm not a girl. But whatever. <laughs> I'm gonna look back here, see the got. <sighs> Guys, I cannot believe this. They have Wii games. Just Dance 2016. Who cares? Super Smash Brothers Brawl. The Bachelor video game. And get out of here. It's not like anybody cares about that game. Right? 
Oh my gosh, they have two SNES classics. No way. That was the best find ever. It's not a Toys R Us. All right, gotta go.